To understand and start using the modes of the major scale, you must know five things. First, you must know how to play the major scale in any key. This is far easier than it sounds. All you have to do is learn the following shape. This shape is a movable shape, which means we can move it around the fretboard to a new location and start a new major scale in that key. For example, if we move the shape up two frets from our starting point of G, we arrive at the note A, which means we'll be playing an A major scale. Secondly, we must also know the names of the notes in the scale. This means knowing the notes upon the fretboard. If you don't know these, look at the diagram below. So, we can see that the G major scale contains the notes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp and G. Thirdly, we need to know how to harmonise the scale. We will now apply the following formula to the notes of the G major scale. Here's the formula to memorize. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. If you need more information on chord harmonization, I've put a link in the description, so please watch that video. So in the key of G major, the harmonized chords will be G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, and F sharp diminished. And here are those chords shown as tab. OK, the next thing to do is to assign each of these chords a Roman numeral, like this. Note that all the major chords use uppercase numerals and that all the minor and diminished chords use lowercase. So when you hear things like, this is a 1-4-5 in G, what people are really saying is that the 1 chord is G, the 4 chord is C, and the 5 chord is D. So in a 1-4-5 song in G, you're going to be playing the chords of G, C and D in that order. And lastly, you need to know and memorise the scale formulae for the modes. The Ionian mode is the easy one, as it's just a major scale. This is given the formula 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So nothing has been adjusted, nothing's been sharpened or flattened. Right, now we've got all that out of the way, we're going to actually start using the modes. Um, and to make a sound or a mode sound particularly modal, we're going to be using the 1, 4, 5 chords as we discussed previously from the harmonized G major scale, these being the chords of G, C and D. And then we're going to put the root of the scale, this being G, in the base of the chord. This will give us the chords of G, C over G and D over G. The G notes of the chord really help tie things together and indeed if you use this note as a drone or a pedal tone, the modal sound becomes even more obvious. And here are those chords shown as chord diagrams and as tab. And here's the chord progression we're going to be using to practice our licks and melodic ideas against. OK, now try using this lick against the backing track. Each of these backing tracks is about a minute long, so once you've learnt the lick, you can skip ahead. I've also included a link in the description to a backing track in G major that starts at 60 beats per minute and works all the way up to 120 beats per minute. This is to really help you master the following licks and to also build speed. <laughs>
To end, I'd like to give you some more soloing options. So the sixth chord in the key of G major is E minor, and we can use the E minor pentatonic scale to improvise with, but it will sound a little less modal. And just as an aside, position one of E minor pentatonic is the same as position five of G major pentatonic. I'll go into this area in greater detail in a later video, so if you want to see more of that, please drop me a comment.
So there you go, guys. Modes, the Ionian mode. And I will be covering all the other modes. Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian in up-and-coming videos. So keep an eye out for those, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.